tree. <laughs> Are you starving? Do you want like a hot fudge sundae or something? Does that sound good? Yeah? Go on. Okay. JR? It's no better than the kite. What happened? Um, basically, I just did the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> uh, that's the saddest sound you ever heard. Uh, sound of an empty bottle. I always was one to share the world. You want you want some? Let's just go home. No, no, no. I, I know, I know that look. David got to you, and I need to know how. I'm tired. Where are you going? I, I'm gonna go see David, because if you're not gonna tell me what he did to you, then I'm gonna go to the source and some way I'm gonna get it out of him. No, wait, wait, wait. Okay. David wants to take me away. He said that my condition requires a procedure that he's the only one qualified to do it. Because it's illegal and nobody even knows it exists. I said no. Good. Griff and I will stop here or you can steer clear from him. I can't. You want to tell me why not? Trust me enough to know that... Whatever is going on with David will not come between us. Come here, just come sit. Sit down. When I first met you, you were suffering from a broken heart, and I'm, I'm not talking about the medical condition. Life had dealt you crummy hand and you were sad depressed angry angry to the point that you stood in a man's room with a pillow ready to take his life if I had known then what I know now okay okay let's just say that you were in a bad place I was I saw you come out of that place. I saw you get stronger. And very quickly, sooner than I'd like to admit, I came to admire that strength. I am so thankful for that. But what, what does any of that have to do with David? God, though I hope it's obvious that I care about you. And you were so hurt. And you healed so quickly that I don't want to open up old wounds. All right, okay. Um, now, now you're starting to scare me a little bit. What did David do? You know, David saved Greenlee's life. Yes. And Maria Santos. Yeah, I mean, everybody thought that they were dead. Yeah. But if he was able to bring them back, he could probably bring back someone else. to do with your being here? Tell me, Dixie, what did David do to you? Who let you in here? Let's go. No. Out. Dixie! <laughs> Janet, you have to get me in to see Dixie again. She knows something about David Hayward. I have to find out what it is. I can't. Janet, you have to. 
You made Ralph mad. He said five minutes, that is 300 seconds. I counted and you went over. Could you please stop talking like a crazy person for just one minute and help me make sense of this? All right, well, if you're going to start with the name calling, then you can go ahead and find some other crazy person to help you find and talk to people who can't stay dead. Janet! Oh, Janet! Nothing. Is there something on the other side? Is someone there? No one's there. It's under control. Dixie? Dixie, was that you in the quarry? Dixie? Are you in the next room? My mom used to tell me that sometimes we have to love people differently than they're used to. Well, aside from the fact that she detests me, Mother Castillo sounds like a wise woman. And she's right. I told JR the only person that could figure out how to live his life is JR. It's high time I let him do it, no matter how frightening that is. In the meantime, I'll get busy trying to figure out how to live mine. And you know what that means? What? Martha's Vineyard. Here we come. <laughs> I don't drink with strangers. You ever been to a bar? It's full of strangers. What? You got some place to be? You got to run a business? A family to go home to? Me neither. Take a load off and get loaded. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Gordo, but I, I, I nobody. <laughs> yeah. I ain't nobody either. <laughs> to be nobody. Tell you that? Did he tell you that Zach was alive? He implied the possibility. No. No, David can't have that power over me. Zach is dead. Green me and Maria Santos are alive. If there was the slightest chance that Zach was too, I had to tell you. There is no chance, okay? There is none. My husband is dead. He is dead. Do you hear me? Kendall. David can't torture me with Kendall, that. Please, please, let me just. No, just no, no, sit. no, no, no. Just leave. I couldn't keep silent, even if it means you hate me. Leave. I wonder you were so upset when I came. 